when we plot the intensity as the function of phi or okay, we may use the relation that phi is equal to 2 pi lambda d sin theta okay we may put it here that phi is equal to the 2 pi over lambda d sin theta okay and we put into this expression and if we draw the graph of the intensity as a function of phi oh sorry here is a function of d sin theta and we will get the pattern like this okay you will have the the bright uh, fringe here where the intensity is maximum here and you have the smallest intensity which equal to zero and that is the center of the dark fringe and then you have the bright fringe again and dark fringe and bright fringe and dark fringe so this relation shows us that why we have the fringe pattern like this you have the alternately bright and dark bright and dark bright and dark and it come from the this relation okay it come from this uh, relation that this is a somehow this is a cosine square the cosine square of phi it, in fact it is a phi over 2 okay okay so this uh, confirm our uh, expectation that we will get the fring, the bright fring and dark fring from the interflame pattern. Okay, you can use the concept of the wave or go in deeper. You look at the uh, detail of the magnetic field, the oscillation of the magnetic field on the screen. Okay. Next, this is maybe the most important here at this at this uh, chapter. That is, it, you can have the interflame pattern from the reflection also. There is a, a experiment that performed, I think maybe hundred more than 100 years ago by the physicist that named Loy. And we call this experiment the Loy-Miller experiment. Uh, before, when we do the double slit experiment, okay, we have the light source here, and then it passed to slit to create the two light thought and to look at the interflame pattern here okay but in the Loy experiment we have only one light thought but we have the Miller here the Miller here so we have the light from the thought and we also have the image of the thought here and this image give us the light to the screen also, right? You have the direct light that go from the source to the point P. And you have the light from the source reflect at the mirror and go to the point P. And it's similar and it's equivalent that you have the light from this point and go to the point P. So, the, you may have, you can have the interflame pattern on the screen from the interflame of the light from the real source and from the image of the uh, source from the mirror and for this 
uh, configuration we may expect that the light at s here and the s prime here s and s prime here uh, identical because it is an image of the source from the mirror when you look at your face on the mirror it is identical to your face right the the image of your face in the mirror is identical to the, your face so we may expect that the the source the the real source here and the source from the mirror are identical so if you go to the point P that is the position of the constructive the constructive uh, pattern the constructive thing if you have two real thoughts that separate by the distance D here and if you have two real thoughts this, at this point P you will have the constructive interference so you may expect that if you have one thought and a mirror when you look at P you will get the constructive interference also okay but the result is not like that it's not constructive at point P so when we expect that the, the source from the mirror is identical you may have to question this if it is identical later this physicist Loy show us that the light from the real source and its image are not identical. They have something different. And the difference is that the fade of the light from uh, the real source here and the fade of the image of the source are 180 degree different. 180 degree different. What does it mean? It means that if you look at the light here and if it vibrates upward like this, start from the source S, and when you look at the wave that comes from the S prime here, it will vibrate like this. So it vibrates downward here, Y, here it vibrates upward. Okay? And we say that the fade difference phi is pi or 180 degree between two, two, two sorts. That's why we have at the point P that we expect it should be the constructive interference it becomes destructive okay it becomes destructive okay okay my piece is gone now <coughs> you are the piece destroyer okay okay and if we look back to this figure again if you look back to this figure again you can see that the light the wave here and the wave here will vibrate in the same manner right if it vibrate here is up and here is up also but imagine that if you can switch if you can flip the wave from the second source if you can flip the wave on the second source what will happen if you if you flip the wave here and become like this okay it become like this it means that at the point P, the wave from the second source will be like this. It will 
point down, right? But for the first thought, we point up. It, I mean that if you can flip the weight from the second thought, the, uh, from S2, right? So it means that the point P that before we get the constructive interference, it will become the destructive interference when the phase, when you have the phase change or the, uh, like when we say that if the, 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 the image of the thought, the phase at the, the image of the thought is 180 degree different from the the real thought. Okay, so it changed from constructive to destructive or the destructive to constructive. Okay? So the result of the phase change here is on that you will get the different pattern 